Hello everyone, this is the planning briefing for Thursday, June 15th. Main points, we're going to have scattered showers today, maybe a few storms with uh, some haze in the higher elevations. There's a little bit of uh, smoke from fires from Canada uh, that you can see in, in the satellite loop. After a nice day Friday, uh, we're going to have increasing chances of showers and thunderstorms on Saturday. Some could be slightly strong towards uh, Lost Trail. Moderate to heavy rain Saturday night to Sunday, especially north central Idaho into west central Montana. Uh, snow levels falling to about 7,000 feet by Sunday and could be quite raw and wet in the backcountry. The temps in the 40s Sunday morning. Incoming trough with snow later Monday, Tuesday down to 5,500 feet. Snow and mountain passes and raw wet in the backcountry. Temperatures below average Sunday through next week and moderation towards the end of the week. Here's the weather threat matrix showing that chance for thunderstorms on Saturday. Uh, heavy rain starting to develop uh, by later in the day, Saturday is Saturday night for north central Idaho. Some gusty winds across the region. It could be some choppy lakes on Saturday, uh, especially like northwest Montana, Flathead Lake, uh, also into Sunday. That region of heavier rainfall occurs west central to southwest Montana on Sunday morning. Monday, a general chance of, of thunderstorms and with some gusty winds, and then a possible chance for snow in the passes on Tuesday as snow levels will be uh, much lower, closer to 6,000 feet. Looking at the satellite loop today, you can see a little bit of smoke in eastern Washington and Oregon. This cloud cover is probably going to help in inhibit uh, thunderstorm development, but there are some breaks in northwest Montana and those could help to warm things up. And this is the general thunderstorm outlook for today. This is the forecast radar loop for today, uh, showing mainly a chance for showers and thunderstorms across western Montana. And then on Friday, uh, very low chance for any sort of precipitation and should be a pretty nice day. And then a uh, weather system comes in uh, Friday night into Saturday, showers northwest Montana and west central Montana Saturday morning. Here's the general weather map Saturday morning showing the incoming cold front. That's uh, so 8 a.m. Saturday morning. It's going to be somewhere in eastern Washington and Oregon. And here's the general thunderstorm outlook for the area for uh, Saturday. And if there were to be any sort of strong storms, the models are showing the potential to be further south towards Lost Trail Pass, uh, maybe a gust of 40 miles an hour, small hail. Here's the probability of precipitation on the left side across the region, and also the right side is showing the probability of thunder, showing that southwest Montana uh, chances for, for thunderstorms. And then the cold front moves into the region by Saturday evening, Saturday night, and it stalls a little bit over the Idaho-Montana border. And this creates a situation for uh, steady rainfall and even um, could see some periods of moderate to even heavy rainfall uh, through Sunday morning. So if you are planning on going into the backcountry, it's going to be quite wet. So make sure if you are going out there that you have the appropriate gear to stay dry and and also warm so some of these locations in the higher elevations are going to be in the 40s the right side is showing the probability of you know rainfall greater than a quarter inch and this is through sunday afternoon so those mountainous locations uh, the bitter roots uh, southwest montana have the higher chances of seeing the greater amounts of rainfall and northwest montana has the lower probability for greater than you know a tenth you can see the forecast on the left only shows a tenth or less in like Lincoln County uh, and 1300s for Kalispell here are the low temperatures for Sunday morning as I was saying before uh, temps in the 40s in the mountains snow levels by you know Sunday morning are going to be generally falling down close to 6,000 feet in Idaho uh, but staying relatively high southwest Montana 10 11,000 feet uh, because you can see where the cold front's going to stall uh, over the region. Now, by later Monday into Tuesday, this low pressure system starts moving into the region. A uh, lot, lot more colder air aloft, and that will cause the snow levels to fall uh, closer to the 6,000 feet or maybe even a little bit below that by Tuesday morning. And uh, this is going to bring a chance for snow in the backcountry and some of the mountain passes, uh, even Lost Trail Pass uh, by Tuesday morning, uh, Logan Pass, and Glacier National Park. 
Looking at the precipitation probability of greater than a tenth, pretty high probability across the region. This is the two-day total uh, through Wednesday morning. And the right side shows the two-day probability of uh, greater than half an inch. So uh, some of the mountain locations uh, could receive you know, pretty decent rainfall or in the case uh, with snow levels down 6,000 feet, possible snow. This brings me to this, these graphics. The left side is the probability of greater than one inch for snow and, you know, pretty high probability in the mountains, especially the Bitterroots, Clearwaters, and also Glacier National Park. And the right side is the probability of greater than two inches. And, you know, we're looking at 35% probability in the Glacier Park region, 24% lost trail. Now, to show you a range of the possibilities of what could happen with snowfall amounts, the left side is the 10th percentile, the middle is the 50th percentile, and the right side is the 90th. So the left side is if the pattern changes dramatically and you have more ridging and the waves are not as strong, then that's the amount of snow that could potentially fall in that situation. The middle is the more likely, the 50th percentile of snow amounts for the region. And then the right side is, you know, in the high amount. So if we do get a slower moving low pressure system that brings, uh, you know, a period of, of heavier snowfall that happens at night, uh, then these are the amounts that could occur, it's like in the Glacier National Park, possibly up to 10 inches if this were to occur. So here is just a summary of the region of high and low temperatures. Uh, we're generally going to be fairly mild Friday and Saturday, but then uh, dramatically cooler Sunday through next week. Basically temperatures below average for this time of year. You know, for those of you going to Glacier National Park, um, you know, temperatures are going to be pretty chilly up at Logan Pass uh, in the 40s. You know, high of 40 on Tuesday. It could start out in the 30s with some snowfall there Tuesday morning with a, that low of 33 degrees. For anyone out there in the fire community that is looking to possibly do a, a little bit of a burn, our driest humidities are going to be Friday. In Idaho, you know, upper 20s uh, in the, for low, you know, minimum RH. But then with this wet, cooler period coming in, the RHs uh, really rise a lot and then potentially starting to dry out by mid to late of next week. As far as uh, wind gusts, this is the maximum wind gust for select stations. You know, we're I was talking about earlier, it could be some choppy lakes Saturday, Sunday for Kalispell, possibly gusts up to 21 miles an hour on Saturday and then 23 on Sunday. And this is showing generally the increased probability precipitation for these select stations. And you can see that there's a potential for uh, a less of, of an unsettled period Wednesday, Thursday. The 8 to 14 day outlook is showing leaning slightly above average in northwest Montana. Uh, this is for June 22nd through 28th and then near average for the rest of the region. And then leaning up to 40 percent above average for precipitation. The next briefing will be this Sunday at June 18th. Have a great day.